the charge rod is on the x-axis and extends from x is equal to minus a to the x is equal to plus a which is a length of 2a and the total charge is q so the question is what is the uh, potential of a point which is uh, located on the x-axis the distance b from the origin or from the center of the uh, charge rod so <coughs> what we do is since this is an extended object it is not a point charge uh, we divide the rod into small charge pieces which we call dq and we express the potential of all these dq charges at point p and then add them as an integral so let's uh, pick up any piece which is away from the center or the origin the charge dq and express the potential of this dq at point p so <clears throat> if the distance from the origin is x and if the distance of the point from the uh, origin is b then the distance from the charge dq to point p is b minus q and uh, by the general expression of a point charge as kq divided by r we express this uh, infinitesimal potential created by dq as k times dq divided by b minus x so next is we express this dq charge in terms of uh, the charge density and dx we have this expression dx because it's a line charge and if we, we multiply this dx the infinitesimal uh, length in the x direction by the charge density we will get dq so we express also the total uh, the charge line charge density in terms of the total charge and the total length of the rod as q divided by 2k 2a and uh, finally we express the total potential by integrating the dv expression from x is equal to minus a to x is equal to plus a because the charge extends from minus a to plus a and we have inside the integral dx divided b minus x and the integral of this quantity is just the natural logarithm minus ln uh, b minus x so the result is uh, after uh, putting all the integration limits we get k times q divided by 2a ln b plus a divided by b minus a so the next question is if you release an electron on the x-axis at x is equal to 3a from rest what is its speed at x is equal to a to solve this it is enough to express uh, the potential energy difference between these two endpoints for the electron and we will equate this the potential difference to the uh, kinetic energy of the electron by the conservation of energy to find its final speed so this is the uh, energy equation and then the conservation of energy requires the kinetic energy of the uh, electron at x is equal to a should be the potential energy difference between these two points and the potential energy difference can may be expressed in general by the multiplication of the charge of any point object times its change in the potential electric potential we already express the potential at any point on the x-axis so we will get utilize we will utilize this expression for these points x is equal to 3a and x is equal to a we simply will ex uh, we will put b is equal to 3a as the initial point potential and put b is equal to a as the final potential of the uh, charge electron and let's express this the potential energy difference as since the charge of the electron is minus e and the endpoints are uh, va minus v3a because x is equal to a is the final point of the electron and 
it will be attracted by the rod and when we express this explicitly in terms of this potential expression and in terms of the charge density it is the change in the potential energy is equal to k times lambda times e the log logarithm 3 divided by 2 so this will be equal to the kinetic energy and by solving for v we will get the expression for the final speed of the electron as in square root 2k lambda e divided by the mass of the electron times the natural logarithm 3 divided by 2.